Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have a fun snowman gnome card to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's gnome dies, their stitch circle dies, their large snowflake die, their gnome dies winter add-ons, the winter is gnoming stamp set, the Christmas signs revamped stamp set, and their fall dies. And I'm using uh, Doodlebug's Winter Wonderland 6-inch pad, the Snow Much Fun odds and ends as well. So first I've got a strip of paper from that Winter Wonderland 6-inch pad from Doodlebug, and that's like 2 and 7 eighths strip. It's whatever I had left over in the pad. Adding that 1, one quarter of an inch uh, from the edge of an HU size vertical card base, cut it a paper tray and cardstock, 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches to make it a vertical A2 size card. Next, I have um, a three and a half inch stitch circle. And then I use just a plain die to cut out a three and three quarter inch die um, circle using papers from that same Winter Wonderland six inch pad. And I'm just layering them up. And then I will add that to the front of my card. There we go. Just lining it up as well as I can. And there we go. So I do have the large snowflake die cut out of Simon Says Stamps um, white glitter card stock. And I'm just going to glue that down on the front of my little circle with some Barely Art glue. And I'll try to get that lined up in the center if I can. There we go, using my reverse tweezers. And there you have it, kind of fun. And I do weight it down with an acrylic block just to let it dry flat. Now on the inside, I've got a strip of that same uh, paper along with some um, Simon Says Stamp glitter cardstock. And I'm just going to apply that down and layer them up. They're like about like one and a half inches and then one and a quarter inches, something like that. And I'm just lining them up, keeping them straight. And then I will trim off uh, the overhang with a pair of scissors just to decorate the inside just a little bit. Now I have a really cute little piece of ephemera from the Snow Much Fun Odds and Ends set. And I'm going to add her to the inside of my card with some Barely Art glue. There we go. And I will weight her down as well. I'm taking a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10 and adding a few little highlights to her for fun. Adds a little something something, right? There we go. And it's super cute. Now I'm going to put together my little gnome snowman. So first it's the base layer is cut out of paper tray or out of American Crafts black card stock, but you don't see it, so you can use whatever you'd like. Then I'm adding a paper trank white card stock beard, and I will do some stamp, some gnome surgery. There we go. And then I'll add the little toque, cut out of paper trank white card stock. I just wanted to keep things level. There we go. And now I'll, I'll add pattern papers from that same six inch pad Winter Wonderland from Doodlebug. Remember, you don't have to use the same pads as me. Doodlebug comes out with new collections every year. They have similar patterns. Like, obviously, the patterns might be different colors, different, you know, types of patterns, but they always have a plaid. They always have some tone on tone. You could always mix it up just like me, but you but use the new, like, the new, the new release, right? There we go. Adding a little pom-pom on the hat. Now I'm going to add the little mustache down with some Barely Art glue as well using my reverse tweezers. Now all my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin Empress machine. There we go. Now I will pop up his little feet, which are cut out of paper train black cardstock. And I'm um, just popping them up with a Stampin' Up Dimensional. There we go. Now the little carrot nose was cut out of orange zest cardstock from paper tray ink. And I'm going to pop, pop that up with some um, Dampen up dimensionals, but the, the mini ones. I'm just going to trim a nice little triangle to put right at the base of the nose, just so it doesn't dip. There we go. And then I will add that to my card front. There we go with my reverse tweezers. Isn't that cute? He's just a super, super cute. 
Next, I'm going to add this little snowflake is actually from the, um, what's it called? The Build-A-Booth Winter Add-Ons. And I didn't even think of mentioning it or showing it to you, but there it is. I'm going to pop up that little snowflake that's also cut from Simon Says Stamp um, white glitter cardstock. Next, I'll add his little coal buttons that were cut out of Paper Trank black cardstock as well using my embellishment tool there. I think that one's from Simon Says Stamp. Adding a little corn cop pipe that was cut out of American Crafts brown cardstock. There we go. Isn't that cute? So next I've got my Christmas signs revamped. Now the sign itself was cut from Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock. Or no, craft. Sorry, paper train craft cardstock. And I'm going to be using a sentiment from that Christmas signs revamped and my Misty. So happy holidays to you and yours, it will say. So our little snowman will have that in his hand. So I'm just going to stamp that with, like I said, the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. There we go. And next I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the inside of my card from that um, Winter is Gnoming stamp set. And there we go. Whoops, there it is. And I'm going to stamp that on. There we go. And I'll stamp that on the inside with that same VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And the nice thing about a Misty is that you can stamp it more than once if you need to. Remember, don't press too hard. So it's Winter Wishes and Gnome Kisses, which is kind of perfect for this card, right? But I'm going to stamp it one more time just to, you know, make sure I get a good impression. And there we go. So now I'm going to add my little Gnome Snowman to the front of my card. Uh, but first I, I'm going to add his little arms. These were cut from American Crafts Brown cardstock. And I added them with some um, ATG tape. Just makes it a little bit easier. There we go. There it is. And I'm going to add my little sign. Figure out where it's going to end up. Just getting that little stick arm in place, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of that ATG tape to the back of the sign handle. And I'm going to just weave it through his little stick fingers. There we are, just make sure it's stuck down. There we go. And then I'm going to add some tape to the back of the sign as well. And then we will get the sign in place. Here we are. But I will add some tape to the back of the whole little critter. And then we can get them down in place. So there we go. So there we are. So I'm just going to, like I say, add that tape on the back and then I can get him in place. So I'm going to have him in the lower right hand corner. And there we go, fun stuff, right? Now I've got one more snowflake to add. That is from the um, Gnome Dyes Winter Add-Ons. And I'm just going to glue that down onto my card base with some Barely Art glue again. That's that um, Simon Says Stamp white glitter cardstock. There we go. And I do weight it down with an acrylic block. So now I'm pulling out some shape sprinkles from Doodlebug. Uh, these are called Snow Colorful, and I'm going to add a few of these to my card front. Uh, you know, in a visual triangle, all that jazz, right? So I'm going to add three. And then I'm going to take two of the little plain enamel dots that are on there and add them to his little hat like they're like buttons or something. So I'm going to add two little blue buttons on his hat and there we go isn't that cute I just think it turned out adorable super cute stuff and there is the inside 
and I'm going to pull out um, some glossy accents and I'm going to make his little buttons glossy and then I'll make his little uh, carrot nose glossy as well. There we go, just making sure everything looks good. So I'll add that glossy, those glossy accents to his nose so he's got a shiny nose as well. And there we go. So super cute stuff, right? Oops, we got a little bubble there. Use a pen to pop those. Because everything's gotta be perfect, right? So there we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thanks as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure to come back again and watch another and be a follower. Bye everybody.